So a question we get asked a lot is, can I use SFTP? That means Secure FTP, it's a way of connecting and uploading files securely. Yes, of course you can. What we need to do, we log into the control panel. This is the hosting control panel for the Pro package. It's the same as for the Lite, Standard and the Pro pretty much. Uh, we click uh, Secure Shell and we enable this. When you click Enable, it's going to take 15 minutes or so to set up and it gives you a server name, a username and a password. We're going to use FileZilla, which is an FTP client. You can use any FTP client, but FileZilla, in my opinion, is brilliant. So we copy that password. I'm just going to note the username and the, and the server name. So FileZilla. We go SFTP colon slash slash. Then we enter the server name, which, as you can see here, is 9128.99.6. So that's 9128.99.6. The username is this username here. TSO train. You can't just use the FTP account details. The FTP account details won't work with SFTP, but these specific ones will. The password is the password that is on this page here. The port. You should be able to leave the port blank and it should default to the SFTP port, which is 22. However, just to be sure, let's enter that now. So we've got port 22. So just to recap, we've got SFTP colon slash slash. 9128.99.6 Username, TSO Train. It's just the username you see on the secure shell page in the control panel. Password is the password you see on that secure shell page. Port 22, quick connect. I'm connecting the same tab. You want to trust this host. It's going to give you uh, a, a, this error. If you're connecting to the first time, I'm going to say always trust. Connect and it will connect now. And there you can see the directory listing. Unlike FTP, you'll see the full path to the files, and because my site is TSO training, the full path is slash var slash site slash t slash tso training.co.uk, and then my website files go into public HTML. Thank you very much.